were drafted, many never made it back. Those who did discover, in their absence, they got the sack. Tenements in squalor, both rats and people getting sick. What they had in common, life was short, death was quick. No one had a plan what they were going to do. When all the men came back home and the ranks of the unemployed grew, the way the people had to live was no life at all but it still came as a surprise how many answered the call if you weren't there you'll never know just what it was like when the whole city went on strike city leaders and newspapers in many ways they try to do everything they could to widen the divide between good Canadians and those they call alien scum, between those who missed conscription and those who beat the war drum. But when the veterans marched in Winnipeg, they marched for everyone. Under the banner of the working class, the one big union. Everybody left their jobs, whether organized or not. Even the policemen walked away, refused to embrace the rot. If you weren't there, you'll never know just what it was like when the whole city went on strike. The mayor deputized the scabs. Soon they shot two men who died in the city center. On the hour when the scabs rampaged through the city, attacking anyone in the street, trapping people in alleyways, not even allowing them to retreat. Soldiers occupied the city. People hadn't eaten in weeks. The prospects for victory began to look bleak. People went back to their jobs, if indeed they even could. The bosses said they'd seek revenge. And many of them would if you weren't there, you'll never know just what it was like when the whole city went on strike. Strike leaders were imprisoned from where several were elected to the Canadian Parliament. And a monument was erected at Main and Portage where a streetcar was overturned, driven in by strike breakers on the spot where it was burned. It was a century ago, but life is often still defined by which side you were on. On that picket line, was your grandpa shot in the heart? Or did they break his leg when the working class rose up and shut down Winnipeg? If you weren't there, you'll never know. Just what it was like when the whole city went on strike. If you weren't there, you'll never know just what it was like when the whole city went on strike. Thank you. Yeah, and this is this is that's part of a, a, a trio of songs about historical events. That's a song about the Winnipeg General Strike, which I wrote for the, anniver the 100th anniversary of the Winnipeg General Strike when they were having a 100th anniversary event in Winnipeg. So I thought I should have a song for this. And <laughs> it's right up my alley. <laughs> What's that? Gosh, you know, no. I, I, this is I've, I've visited so rarely, but. I mean, I have, I have songs related to Hawaii. I have songs re related to, given that I have songs related to the Second World War. But otherwise, no, nothing, uh, nothing other than tangentially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
But this one's about the ocean, so you know. But this is about, yeah, this is about, well, this is about the Pacific yeah. Ocean. Yeah. It's really yeah. Pretty close, yeah. right, right? The South Pacific. Yeah. <laughs> 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 applause for the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Screw that, at, <laughs> screw that Atlantic Ocean. I'm on the Pacific the, coast. <laughs> Different continents. The okay. bloody pond. <laughs> <laughs> Highly overrated. Highly overrated. 